that one I could tell. Well, I hate you a couple of sticks like monkeys. Well, that was neat. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got quite a crowd here today.
Good morning. Welcome to Our Lady of Lourdes, and welcome to those of you joining us from home via the live stream. Today we celebrate Thanksgiving Day. The presider for this liturgy is our pastor, Father Scott Wimsett. Please stand as we begin our celebration. Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship and power of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We gather on this thankful day to give God thanks and praise. We begin by admitting we are sinners. For the times we've sinned, let us ask now for God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, Bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's wombs and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him, raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Here we are on Thanksgiving Day, and we have a, a gospel that we hear every Thanksgiving. It's a story about ten lepers. And I bet that almost everyone gathered here in this church today could paraphrase that gospel story. We've heard it so many times and so often. That's what we, what we would, I mean, we could paraphrase it. We could tell it to each other. We could probably today take out the word leper and insert the word COVID, mm -hmm. right? keeping their distance, they're socially distancing, right? And they cry out to the Lord. And suddenly there's an engagement. They've met the one person that can change everything in their lives. And look what happens. And then on their way to show the priest, 
one of them realizes what's happened to him. Now, maybe all of them realized what had happened, but one moved or having a conversion experience, I think, comes back to the person that has sent him on his way to thank him. And then we hear the exchange between Jesus, at least as the gospel writer tells us, he's talking out loud probably to his disciples. You know, has no one else? Weren't there 10? I mean, he's stating the obvious. Of course there were 10. You know. And look what happens. Go. Your faith has saved you. So today we gather on Thanksgiving Day. And I suspect that for most of us today, it's going to be just a little bit different than it has been in years past. Maybe our gatherings will be a little smaller. Maybe our gatherings will be a little more intimate. Maybe, like ours, our gathering is going to be outside in a large garage today. And a lot of us will be wearing masks. But what about you? And one of the things that we do before we eat is we pray. And before we pray, usually the question is asked, what are you most thankful for this year? And I think we have to kind of contextualize even giving thanks today. What are we thankful for? Maybe we can give thanks for the people around us, that beautiful reading from Corinthians that we heard. I give thanks for you because of what God has done in your life and what you mean to me. What a beautiful reading. Think about all those beautiful words. And even the powerful words in Sirach we hear today sets the context as the Word of God begins to unfold on Thanksgiving Day. But it's, a, it's not a holy day. It's a civic. Pause in our calendar. But what are we thankful for? Somebody had a bright idea. It says, as a nation, you should pause and give thanks. So what are we thankful for? What are we most thankful for this year? I remember growing up that I often heard the, those in the family that were older, perhaps wiser, that would say, well, if you have your health, you have everything. If you have your health this year, God bless you. What are you thankful for? What about your neighbors? How are they doing? Have you checked on them lately? Do you know of anybody that's lost their job in this crazy time? Have you checked on them? Do you know of a family in need? And how will today be different than in years past? One of the people, one of the my favorite people of all time said, well, today's the day you sit at home and drink together. So there you go. Have fun together. Know what you're thankful for. And I suspect that most of us are going to be thankful for the others, the others in our lives. Tell them today. Kind of try to remember the Corinthian reading today. I give thanks for you. You've been a blessing to me. And because of you, I'm a better person. I may not always agree with you, but I'm thankful for you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's 10 lepers on a journey. It could be any of us on a journey. And we meet Jesus on the way. What would we ask for? Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. That is all they said. Go show yourself to the priest. And they were healed. Maybe what do we need to be healed of? To be one of our questions that we ponder even before we gather with family and friends today. And then again, I think we need to refocus. What am I thankful for? Most thankful for this year. And gather be safe, have fun, 
and celebrate and give thanks to God. With grateful hearts and confidence in God's constant loving care, we bring our needs before the Lord. Our response is, loving God, hear our prayer. In gratitude for God's holy church and its leaders, may all members grow in gratitude for the many gifts bestowed upon them, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. In gratitude for our own abundance, we ask that the hungry be fed and the homeless be given warm shelter today and all days, we pray. In gratitude for our earth and the beauty and richness of its nature, we ask for ever-growing ability to care for it so that it may continue to sustain life for us and for future generations, we pray. In gratitude for the love we share with our families and friends, we ask that the lonely and those isolated or unable to be together due to COVID restrictions will be blessed with loving companions and good neighbors, we pray. In gratitude for our good health, we ask that those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit may be given the help they need and be comforted by the healing power of God, we pray. In gratitude for our Lord's community, may we continue to seek to find ways to use our time, talents, and treasure in service, treating our neighbors as we would treat you, we pray. Generous and gracious God, you give us gifts beyond measure. Hear our prayers that we might one day fully share in your most wondrous gift of life everlasting. With grateful hearts, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. 
Hail the Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise of the glory of his name, our good good and true church. God our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we might learn to share your blessings and gratitude. Accept these gifts of bread and wine. Let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. You have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, <clears throat> take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many with the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Well, if you're in a pew with a loved one or a family member, you may offer the sign of peace and greet those around you with a little greeting of peace. And to those of you at home, we wish you peace and happiness this Thanksgiving day. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Thank you all for joining us today on Thanksgiving Day. As you probably noticed, we weren't able, due to COVID, to put our baskets up front like we have in the past. However, if you brought an offering for St. Vincent de Paul, the baskets will be available in the gathering space, and you may leave your offerings there. Thank you. Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.